Well, welcome back to News 19 at 6. I'm Chief Meteorologist Efren Afonte. As of right now, throughout the Palmetto State, a lot of cloud coverage. Earlier today, we had a little bit of light shower activity, not only in the Midlands, but in portions of the upstate. But now, all we see is that a lot of storms that are moving through the far western portions of the upstate of South Carolina. Other than that, maybe an isolated sprinkle or shower in Lee County, maybe down in Berkeley County. But overall, the cloud coverage is the big thing that's going on right now. A rain cooled 77 in Anderson. We're in the Gamecock City, sitting at 85 degrees, Orangeburg at 84, Augusta and Charleston at 82. Now, despite the fact that we're tracking a Hurricane Helene, Things look rather tranquil right now, a little bit cloudy, but the line of showers and thunderstorms, if you can believe it or not, if you know anybody in the upstate or in the foothills of North Carolina and uptown Charlotte, this is the second day in a row they've had a line of really stout thunderstorms that have been racing through northwest Georgia and into the upstate and western North Carolina. We haven't been getting anything at all. This is a prelude, though, as we get towards Thursday and Friday. As we go throughout the night, we'll have southeasterly winds, a lot of cloud coverage, not really expecting rain other than maybe an isolated shower. But once we get into the early morning, right around daybreak, western central midlands may see a little bit of shower activity, could be brief heavy rainfall, and then it starts to pick up as we get to lunchtime and into the afternoon, early evening. But that's round one. All of this rainfall is only going to be ahead of Helene. So our forecast in the morning, again, it'll be partly to mostly cloudy. Low temperatures will be in the low to mid 70s. And then tomorrow, as the showers start off in the morning, throughout the midday and afternoon, high temperatures will be mostly in the mid to upper 70s, although a few could get into the low 80s. Now, as we get into Thursday, this is what we're going to be tracking. There's Helene making landfall somewhere in the Big Bend or the Panhandle of Florida. As we get into Friday, Friday before daybreak, that's when the really big amounts of heavy rainfall move through, advancing through north, advancing through Georgia, and then finally the upstate. And then by Friday midday, lingering showers, but that's really going to be the entire evolution of what we're going to be expecting from Helene, at least visually. The amount of rainfall that we're expecting, honestly, these rainfall amounts are conservatively on the low end by Friday noon. The far eastern Midlands, maybe up to an inch to two inches of rainfall at worst. The central and most of the western Midlands, two to possibly five inches of rainfall. The far western Midlands, possibly five up to seven inches. Look at the upstate, possibly nearing a foot of rainfall just in that short time span. So we're expecting a lot of heavy rainfall. Then we have a chance. Far down in the low country, the likelihood of spin-up tornadoes in the central portion and southern Midlands, all the way down to the coast, a slight risk. We could see some storms that could have tornado warnings. And then the Midlands, the rest of the Midlands into portions of the upstate, maybe strong to severe storms that have 60 mile an hour winds. But the winds, even though that's not going to be a case on Friday, the winds are going to be the big thing because as we go through tomorrow morning, tomorrow midday and tomorrow the afternoon, the winds are going to start picking up. By the time we get to Friday morning, the winds could be ramping up 40 to 60, even 70 miles an hour before it's all done. So a weather impact alert again for Thursday and Friday. Friday, a high of 86. Maybe a chance of rain on Sunday at worst, but a mix of sun and clouds with highs in the mid-80s. And then mix of sun and clouds to start off next week. Highs in the low 80s with maybe a return for some morning showers by Wednesday. Well, stay with us. We got sports coming.